All right, going to show you that scriptural signs and wonders are for the Jews and refuting the charismatic counterfeit signs and wonders. Let's first turn to the scriptures because the scriptures are something the charismatics don't follow. The charismatics don't follow the holy scriptures. They follow their experiences and their feelings over the word of God. And the word of God says that these signs and wonders that these charismatics seek after are for the Jewish people, and they were for the Jewish people, and they will be for the Jewish people during the time of Jacob's trouble. And these charismatic, you know, essentially they're devil-possessed, they are counterfeiting these signs and wonders for the Jews. But let's show that the Jews need signs and wonders. First of all, the Jews need signs and wonders to believe and accept Jesus Christ. John chapter 2, verses 18 to 22 that answered, Jew, answered the Jews, and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. And the, then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? And, but, he, but he spake of the temple of his body. And when he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he said that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. But notice that. Uh, what sign showest thou? They required a sign. Okay, you're gonna get the scripture in a minute about how the Jews require a sign. John chapter six or John chapter four, verses forty four to forty eight. All right, sorry about that, I had the wrong scripture reference. I was reading down to verse 44. So it's John chapter 4, verses 46 to 48. So Jesus came again unto Cana of Galilee, where he, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. Then he, when he heard that Jesus was come out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then said Jesus unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. What's the context on this? The Jews. Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The Jews require a sign. It's that simple. John chapter 6, verses 29 to 33. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that ye believe on him whom he has sent. They said therefore unto him, What sign showest thou them, that we may see and believe thee? Uh, what dost thou work? Our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then, then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he... For the bread of God is he which cometh down from the from heaven and giveth life unto the world. So they still required a sign. They said, what sign showest thou? And Jesus is saying, you know, the bread of life, which is, of course, Jesus Christ, is that sign. It came down from heaven. Because he's tying it back to how the, God gave them bread and manna back in the desert. And he is that bread of life, Jesus Christ. Very good comparison right there. But again, they required a sign. They asked for a sign. And he had to give them a sign to explain to them about who he is. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22. For the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. The signs are for the Jews. If you're a Gentile Christian, you don't need signs and wonders. You have the you have the completed canon of scripture. You don't need anything else. You don't need signs and wonders and, and these charismatic counterfeits. You have everything you need right here in this book. But you see, the Charismatics, they don't want to go by Scripture alone. They want to go by their traditions of men over God's Holy Word. Okay? Next point. The audience, the key audience of the spiritual gifts and wonders was meant to be the Jewish people only, not the Gentiles. Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 to 8. These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Go not into the way of the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, preaching the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven? Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. It's the physical earthly kingdom. And they're healing the sick and cleansing the leopards. Why? Who is it for? The Jews. It's in the sight of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who the key audience of the spiritual signs and wonders are for. 
Uh, next point is that the biblical sign of wonder, basically the biblical speaking in tongues, the sign of wonder speaking in tongues, the biblical tongues were a fulfillment of the prophecy of a prophecy for the Jewish people. First Corinthians chapter 14, verses 21 to 22. In the law it is written, With men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that they will not hear me, saith the Lord. Wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. But prophesying serveth not for them that, them that believe not, but for them which believe. Okay, notice verse 21. And notice verse 22. It's not for them that believe, it's for them that believe not. If you're a Gentile Christian, you don't need signs and wonders, because you already believe the gospel. You have everything you need right here in the Holy Scriptures. But the Charismatics, they look after signs and wonders, just like the Pharisees did in Matthew chapter 12, verses 38 to 40, and Matthew chapter 16, verses 1 to 4. These Charismatics are just modern day Pharisees. But notice verse 21 as well. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues. What is it referring to? It is written. It's referring back to something in the Old Testament. Well, what's it referring back to? Isaiah chapter 28, verses 11 to 12. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people, to whom he said, This is the rest wherewith you may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. What's it for? It's a prophecy for the Jewish people. In Isaiah chapter 28, verses 11 to 12, that prophecy was fulfilled in the biblical speaking in tongues. Okay, not the charismatic gibberish, not the gibberish that the charismatics do when they're filled with devils, when they have their kundalini spirit and all that, you know, Shekinah glory, the unbiblical Shekinah glory come down and fill their, their cult buildings and give them these devil spirits. So they, they spread out this demonic gibberish claiming it's from the Holy Spirit. Then if you, you reject it, they'll say, oh, you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost. No, they're the ones who are blaspheming the Holy Ghost by faking and counterfeiting the gifts of the Spirit that were for the Jewish people, very clearly for the Jewish people. Now finally, the main focus of the New Testament church is to preach the gospel, not the signs and wonders. The Charismatics don't preach the gospel, they preach the gifts over the gospel. Matthew, or sorry, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 21 and 24. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach the signs and the wonders. Oh wait, sorry, it doesn't say that. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block, and unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called, which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. They're preaching the gospel, not the gifts. The gospel is, is to be the focus, not speaking in tongues are the spiritual signs and wonders that are for the Jewish people. John chapter 20 verses 30 to 31. And many other signs truly did Jesus did, truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which were not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. Notice something very interesting in that verse there. The main focus is that you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and you have life through that name, the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 31 shows that they are preaching the gospel. The gospel was the main focus, not the signs and wonders. Because verse 30 mentions him doing signs and wonders, but it says they weren't written in this, in this book. Why? Because it wasn't the main focus. Verse 31 shows the main focus was them preaching the gospel, not the signs and wonders. And again, notice how it says in the presence of his disciples, they were doing signs and wonders. His disciples were Jews. So further showing that the sign gifts were for the Jewish people. But so much so, basically the verse 31 makes it so much so about the gospel that the rest of the signs and wonders are not even recorded because again, the gospel is the focus, not the gifts. So don't be deceived by these charismatic you know, fakers and, and devil-possessed fake healers who are faking the gifts of the spirit and not just going wanting to go by scripture alone, but wanting to follow their experiences and their uh, feelings over the word of God. Like Jesus rebuked the Pharisees for, uh, in Matthew chapter 15, verses 1 through 9, he rebuked them for holding their man made traditions to the place of Scripture. And what Paul warned about in Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, about beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy, vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Paraphrasing, of course. But the charismatic movement is based off tradition of men. That's all that it is. Don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.